Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. The Shadow of the Templars. Doesn't doesn't really matter. <laughs> where uh, where are we going next? Um, go to the museum. Do that bit first. All right. Well, you're going to have the option to actually have George killed, which I know you love to do. Ooh, cool. At the museum? Yep. Tell me when the choice comes up so I can... Well, when it's about to be time so I can save it in advance. Yes, I will do. Just because George walks so goddamn slow. You have left it very late, monsieur. Late for what? Anything. I am closing the museum soon. You wouldn't like to get locked in. I can tell you, not in this gallery. Why not? It is haunted, monsieur. You don't believe in ghosts, surely. Oh, yes, I do. Seven years ago, a lad managed to hide in here. He'd made a bet with his friends, I suppose. When I found him in the morning, he was cold as ice and stiff as a bud. Well, what was the cause of death? They said it was a brain tumor, but on his face was a look of stark, desperate terror such as I have never seen before. Scary. Does this apparatus mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Thanks for your help. Ask everyone everything. All right. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Don't call me fucking Georgie. <laughs> Do you have any use for this, Andre? Ah, shouldn't think so, Georgie. Don't have you ever heard of the Georgie. Hashashin? Why, yes, it was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes, they gave a new word to our language, assassini, the assassins. More, more credence to my theory that Broken Sword is set in the same universe as Assassin's Creed. Yes, but Broken Sword did it first. Yeah, yeah. Just like um, Gabriel Knight 3, Blood of the Sacred, Blood of the Damned. <laughs> the worst title ever. Well, not worse, longest. That, um, I firmly believe Dan Brown ripped that off for the fucking awful-ass Da Vinci Code. Oh, God. Because it did the same plot points years before. How did the assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of the heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashin. How did the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then, the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassin still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. And they, and they, went, and they went fanning about in great obvious white robes with assassin logos plastered all over them. Well... I'll say I doesn't really have the logo on him. Maybe on, it's like, on his, his belt. belt. It's on his belt, yes, but like in the trailers you can see him going out of like a city when he like tends to be like a monk praying. Yeah, he's That's still 
he still has the most, the least stealthy color available. Yeah. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? He was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that, but why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. The trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. If the Templars were so powerful, how did this Philippe dude wipe them out? By underhanded dishonorable means, of course. The Pope was Clement V, a Frenchman. French, huh? Handy for Philippe. Fate had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clément to get it. So what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. It was the biggest bust in the history of the world. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Philippe was out for blood, so he handed the Templars over to the Inquisition. Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational and sordid list of blasphemies. Like what? Oh, the sort of things you read about in the gutter press? Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers some headaches. Whether or not the accusations were true, this was not good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up, <laughs> but so were the Templars, <laughs> literally. Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flamed grilled at the stake. They died protesting their innocence. But surely Philippe had no proof of say. his charges Jeez. against the Templars. Yep. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet, and then suggested to their victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. The records show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. Fragments of flesh and charred bone falling from the stumps. What would you not admit to, to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. Almost every victim described the idol differently. No, Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. So Philippe stole the Templars' riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The king's troops marched first on the temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Aren't we planning to steal the tripod? Yep. <laughs> Why don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? Because I'd never see it again. But don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. So the um, plan is to get inside the sarcophagus, mm -hmm. but you can't open it and get in there quick enough while the guard's watching. So the idea is, is to give him a distraction. What do you think? Let me save. I think I have an idea. I wonder what was happening. <laughs> I just saved the game. I know, I know. The screen just went black. I was like, huh? What's happening? And I realized you were saving it.
Watch out! You will have that done on top of us! I'm sorry, I thought you were not looking at me. Because you're not looking at me. So, whatever. <laughs> Watch out! It's really unclear when his, what his, his back being to you means. So, Watch out! Where, where Andre is, um, the, you remember that window you saw at the top of the window in front of him? Yeah. Go up a little bit, and up again. Examine that. High above me was a window. Now try looking to the left of the window. Slightly left of that window. And then that's it. Have a look at that. Attention! Please do not open the window, monsieur. Don't you think it's kind of stuffy in here? Better stuffy than dead. What's the problem? Fumes from car exhausts? Not just that, monsieur. There's a new bag of bar opened up across the street. The Laughing Buffalo. So what's the problem? They cook their burgers on a shackle grill. And the fat falls on the open flames. The amount of organic compound and smoke particles released is astounding. Since they opened, local air pollution has doubled. And it stinks like a funeral pyre. That is why I keep the windows closed. So you have to open it when he's not looking, and then you... A metal rod it. attached to the wall was connected the, to the window. The sarcophagus. Gotcha. You have to try and do it when he's like furthest away from me. The rod remember. turned smoothly, and the window above me opened. Right, go, 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 go. You might catch you. Oh. What? If you, you actually did it first time. Yep. Can I save in here? It is closing uh, time, uh, Monsieur Lobino. before this, haven't you? So it's fine. Already, oh, there right. just aren't enough hours in the day. You can't save More than enough there. for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, Monsieur. Hours pass. <laughs> oh, different angle. Yeah. Oh, well, there they are. Hey, Guido! Look at this! Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight! Right, now save it as soon as you're able to save it. But maybe save it on a, di on a different file, don't save it on the same one. I'm saving it on three. Okay. Which is just what I uh, was saving on before, for the opening the window and so stuff. If you, if, you sta if you stand still at the moment don't do anything or try and talk to them, then you can get George killed. Oh, Guido! What's the big idea, you dummy? Shine the light down here! <laughs> the mummy! It's... it's... it's come alive! If that's a mummy, I'm glad I'm an orphan. Ah, <laughs> uh, George. Wonder what happens if we talk to Guido instead of Flip. I, flap. I don't flap. think it's the same thing. So the idea is. Oh, G watch the. The idea is, is to step by where the totem pole is. If that's a mommy! That's the, that's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> you just want you just want to see George get killed, don't you? Yes. <laughs> I 
What the? Who's there? Let's get out of here! God damn it, George. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how. Why is Nico a ninja? Oh, God, do you know it's Nico? <laughs> yes. And when I woke oh, up, I was at the police station. But it's Luckily, obvious! I to persuade Rosso I was innocent. You see, oh, she's not even wearing a mask. What a mess. I bungled the whole thing. I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah, but the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. He's not the only one who can dress up in costume. You mean... It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, Nico. I could have been shot. You were. Those twice. dogs are more hilarious. likely to shit their own feet. I just wish you'd told me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. But how come you dressed up like a pantomime cat? Don't suck, Georgie, please. Oh, rats. And don't call me Georgie. Oh, I really thought you'd be <laughs> pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Aren't you going to try putting the gem on the tripod? I guess so. Nothing happened. What yeah. the fuck did you expect? The gem to fits perfectly, but what does that prove? Proves it's the right tripod. How are you? Never mind. You're Maybe the tripod has to be in a certain there. location. There's nothing on the manuscript to indicate where, though, is there? Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the Knight's Crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. What do you think the purpose of this tripod is? On the manuscript, the gem is shown mounted on top of it. So, we risked a criminal charge to steal a display stand? Don't ask me. Maybe it's intended to hold the gem in a specific position. George, you're one fucking hypocrite. You mm -hmm. spent the entire game committing criminal charges and crimes, and yet you want to say we risk a criminal charge. I mean, now, we... now you're partners in crime. We're, I th he's angry at her. He, he's angry at her for stealing the thing that he broke into the museum to steal. <laughs> <laughs> Labino explained who the Hashashin were. Yeah. The cult of the assassins. Oh boy! Let's take another look at the manuscript. I That's the tripod we borrowed from the museum. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marn. That's all we know so far. Yep. Here's the smoky mirror. <laughs> smoky mirror. So the second game is actually called the smoky mirror. I know, That's that was the joke. Oh. Yeah. So I have where to, to go. Now? Already? Um, you only just arrived. Time and tide wait for no man. Okay, I'll see you later. You're getting on a well, boat, George? We've got um, a few choices we can do. Ooh. We can we can either go and talk to Lobano and get the name of the coat of arms that appears on the manuscript to get a new location to go to, mm -hmm. away from Paris. Or we can go to Moffasson and do the bit there. Can we do both? Oh, hi. Uh... Probably haven't got enough time for both. Hello, my handsome friend. Yeah, now, but we can we can start one or the other. Do you know what this tripod was used for? I mean, can we I talk to um, to Andre then go to Molfassel? See you later. We That's can talk right, to Andre and then he'll tell us you where will. it is, and then we can go to Molfassel. Yeah. So we don't yeah. automatically go after Andre. No, you don't. Okay. 
no, no. You, you get the place and then you can decide. I think but... for, for story flow, we should go to Malfessal first. Okay. So not like, each oh, place, thank you for thank place. you for that very important clue. I'm going to go completely fecking ignore it and do something else. <laughs> each, each place gives you the opportunity to get George Kill again. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> go to um, see... Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, no. Do. No. <laughs> it's a clown! <laughs> We found him. Don't talk to it. Why are you giving, why are you giving the soul to the clown? I was going to hit him with it. What do you do with the clown? <laughs> Ignore it. A typically Parisian sidewalk cafe. It's just called Last cafe. time I visited one of those, it blew up. Yes, I decided George. I was happy enough right where I was. We can't interact with this freaking cool piece of sculpture. No. Wait. I have a suspicion about this. What? This is an actual photograph that they trimmed. Look at the edging. Oh, yeah. That's taken from an actual picture. That's real. That's a real thing. That's pretty cool, actually. I once read what? a list of low-stress jobs. It didn't include police work. Obviously, this guy hadn't read the same list. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. And how may I help you? Is he drunk? He's drunk. Yeah. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Aha! A prosthetic nose. Very significant. It is? No. I am just having a little joke. <laughs> Have you seen this man before? No. Who is it? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh. Is that all you can say? Oh. I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac. But it didn't seem polite. Sir, I'll have you know I'm an international criminal. Look at this gem. What do you think? Cut glass. No, it's not. It's for real. What kind of madman would go around waving a priceless gem under people's noses? So, either it's glass or I'm mad? I didn't like to think about that for too long. Take a look at this. Ah! An electrician! My TV has been acting up. Could you fix it? Mm, I doubt it. This isn't my ID. George, you liar! You fixed the washer in fucking Ireland. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we, no did. we, we we never placed, did. We placed the wire with. with, with no, the it's the pump. The we never fixed the pump. Oh no. <laughs> no, I, actually, actually, you do fix the pumps because in the, this this won't really spoil anything. But in the director's cut, there's a scene with Nico, and you get a phone call from George, and in it he goes, "Oh, someone has a drink from me. Got to go. See ya." So they do fix the pumps, but not we in this find version. Out... Not in this version. No, not in, not, not in this version. No. We left. We, uh, there's going to be a riot in Loch Marn because they can't drink the beer. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a sewer key. Does it mean anything to you? Do you belong to some obscure arm of the Masons? Um, no. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The Masons the wouldn't let George looks in. Middle Eastern. Beyond that, who knows? Do you know what this is? Aha! You Americans with your notorious nose candy. I read Hollywood Wives. I know all about it. If you tried to sniff this stuff, you'd wall up your nostrils. It's plaster of Paris. It is? Thank heavens. For one awful moment, I thought I might actually have to arrest somebody. Hello, the job. paperwork. You have no idea. I mean, I think there's already laws about drinking on duty. There is. Like, if this was a cup of coffee, no issue. But the fact that it's, it's alcohol, yes issue. What do you think of this? A blood pressure sleeve. Don't you want to know why I'm carrying it? No! That would be dangerously similar to making inquiries. 
might get a reputation for taking my job seriously. I, I somehow doubt that, sir. Would you like to shake? I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. They'd rebuild the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. And they'd be right to do so, George. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Delightful. Would you like to see some of my used tissues? Yes. Hell no. Then please put yours away. What do you know about medieval ironmongery? Have a look at this little baby. A tripod. What is it for? You mean you don't know? No, monsieur. No, do you, I think. What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier. Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Fair enough. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, the east side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the Soso Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. That's interesting that he said that. It's very, very interesting. Let me check something. What, what, bear? Yeah. Of course, well, he, he said that's a so so Sauvignon he's drinking. Okay. Yeah, that, that's definitely a so so Sauvignon because uh, that, 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 what color is that? Hell. That's red. red. Hey, Sauvignon's red? white. <laughs> Ow. Okay. So either Ow. he's so fecking drunk that he can't tell the difference. Or yeah, it is a pretty bad Sauvignon if it's red. I'll see you around. Oui, monsieur. I'll be there. I... I, a Canadian who does not drink, should not know more about wine than a Frenchman who does drink. Uh... There was a small crowd of five sightseers. It's a weird thing, but you can take the most intelligent people in the world, put them in their vacation duds, and hey presto, they look like morons. Why is that? I don't know, George. You, why, why are you such a moron? <laughs> I had no desire to talk to the crowd. To the, clown. the juggler was good. Why he couldn't put that kind of application into getting a real job, I had no idea. Maybe he just liked dressing up like a horse's ass. George, George. fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you defending the juggler? It's a job. <laughs> An architectural <laughs> echo of the gallows that once used to stand uh, here. Try, get, try using your sewer key on the... Um, Sewer, sewer thing. Try using it on it. See what happens. You sewer key. Hey! You with the balls! Gonna harass the clown. We? Oh, we can. Okay. Look, a red nose. Oh, you say. Whoop de doo. Have you seen this man before? No. Feast your eyes on this. Incroyable! Is it real? I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. <laughs> oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it, both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Do you want it? No, thank you. All right, so use the sewer key on the grate. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I'm using it, and then um, see what happens. <laughs> hey, hey, you! 
What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone. Now. It looks like he's trying to fly it. Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. Now talk to the clown again. Hi again. You must be ruining these tourists' oui? day. What is it this time? Oh, Does this lab up. pass mean anything to you? Is they're trying to watch You're the juggler a and we're no, interrupting again. the act. You steal lab passes? No. Well, not as a <laughs> habit. This was a special case. <laughs> this gadget is a sewer key. I do not want it. Thank you. Well, I'm not selling it. I just wanted your opinion. It is hardly my area of expertise. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You smoke? No, I don't. In that case, it means nothing to me. <laughs> Does this plaster interest you? <laughs> well... Forget it. Forget that I asked. <laughs> what do you think of this? It is a medical device, oui? Oui. Uh, yes. Does this grease paint mean anything to you? It looks like one of mine, or at least another jongleur. Or a clown? Me naturally more. A clown! Hardly a breakthrough. I've got a medieval tripod. And my Uncle Claude has hemorrhoids! So what? <laughs> it didn't seem right to fry somebody's pot <coughs> and make their living with their hands. You don't know how your joy buzzer works, George, but that's fine. <laughs> what do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, the last Grandmaster, Jacques Dumoulin, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow, you're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. I used to have a joy buzzer. It was fun. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No! I am a jongleur! A jongleur? What's that? Mon dieu! A jongleur is an artist! A master of the contragravitic aeroballetic mysteries! In centuries past, the courts of the crowned of Europe had the jongleurs! Witty, erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders, plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. Um, George, I'll remind you that in William Shakespeare's Hamlet, when they're planning on when Hamlet and uh, I think Falstaff are discussing what to do once they take over the kingdom, they decide that the first step is to kill all the lawyers. I'd be careful, George. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does oh, not, George. does it oh, not? Oh, George, Perhaps no. you feel you could do better, <laughs> no? I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? God, you're obnoxious, George. A lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. That's our job. <laughs> not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Catch you we'll later. Au revoir, house. monsieur. The police officer. There was no or water to frolic about in. And the leaf mold that was collecting there just wasn't the same somehow. An ornate fountain stood in one corner of the square. I'd have to come by here in the summer to see it working. You want to talk to the cop? Yeah. Talk to the officer, yeah. Hello again, officer. Hello again, monsieur. What do you think of the juggler? Ah, he is excellent, most watchable. 
But he's blocking the thoroughfare and obstructing traffic. So? He is amusing. The traffic isn't. If he wants to block it, who am I to say no? You're a cop. Ah, oui. So I am. Ah, well. So you're not going to do anything about this guy? <clears throat> no. He probably doesn't even have a license. Ah, a license. This I had not considered. So what are you going to do? The instant I return to the station, I shall check. Return to the station? Why not just ask him? And spoil his concentration? What kind of a barbarian do you take me for? Ah, you are a clown. Do I look like a clown? No. Yes. Although you juggle like one. Now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing. And not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Whoever held up. He had a point. Plain so clown, you're right. saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic loon. Oui, monsieur. You have it. I I'll have a around. plan. Oui, monsieur. Yes, go back and I'll be back there. there. Oh. We're not putting on the grease paint? No, go back and talk to the juggler. Okay. I was going to put on the grease paint and the red nose and then juggle. Hi again. <clears throat> You're safe. Oui? What is it this time? I'd like to have another try at juggling, please. You have gone on a crash course, perhaps? No. I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, monsieur. Okay, now for my secret weapon. The juggler was speechless with rage. You could have mistaken him for a mime. And without a word, he collected his balls and left in a fury. Hey! You forgot one of your balls! Hey! But he didn't hear. <laughs> Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. While drunk. Now we can get to the sewer. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. We're just gonna let you stare you and the crowd stare awkwardly at each other, George. <laughs> and for my next trick. Down we go. What must the tourists be thinking? Right, before you go across the thing on the on the right there, try on the other opposite path of where you're standing. Yeah, oh, no, I was offside. You just had it. Yeah, there. Click on that. Okay, it's long jump time. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> do I look crazy or something? Well, you're going to do it. <laughs> if I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. If the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. No, you can't. Now, I wasn't so sure. <laughs> Uh, George, this is a point-and-click adventure, not a platformer. <laughs> You're not Mario. <laughs> Mario, or the... Luigi. Oh, or, or the Prince of Persia. He'd fit well into this. <laughs> Just frickin' George running across the wall. <laughs> there were three arches, each with an inscription. <laughs> Ooh, inscription. 
The wall had flaked, and anything once written on it had long since gone. But how do you know there was an inscription, George? There were three arches, each with an inscription. The inscription was hard to read, but I made out Templier and something about innocence. Close up, I could see a faded inscription. My medieval French isn't much, but the few words I understood seemed to say, this is where the gallows used to stand. Maybe. Should we take the boat? No, you don't take the boat, but... If there was a handle in the boat that fed out chain with a hook on the end. Oh, all right. Do we no, use... lower it down. A weird little boat lay tied you up. Do use the boat, I guess yes. they used it to get maintenance but crews around. Try exactly Either that or the Phantom of the, the Opera was somewhere near. More closely. Uh, from the, left the, to the, right. the Phantom's in a different game. On the boat was a winching machine. On the boat, a weird either that or hmm. instead of the <laughs> um try um examining those panels a bit more closely instead of looking at them normally. I did. I right. oh no. Use there were the three key. arches. Which use the use the sewer key on each of the panels from left to right. Oh, okay. That sounded pretty solid. Now I'll try it on the next one. Can we hit someone with the sewer key? Nothing hollow there. No. I'll try it. Because I feel it'd be a pretty effective melee weapon. <laughs> hey! That's hollow! It was time for some brutal destruction. And now we've added criminal damage to our list of charges. Not just criminal damage. Criminal damage of a historical location. <laughs> I poked a hole in an historical site. Yep. If any archaeologists came by, they'd lynch me for this. I've <laughs> good reason. <laughs> I'm just, you've seen Last Crusade, right? Um, yeah. George is sitting on a, George is sitting on a Zeppelin. He's reading the... He, George is sitting on a Zeppelin, and uh, Indiana, he feels a tap on his shoulder. Indiana Jones is like, tickets please. Grabs George and throws him out the window. I love that scene, though. No, no ticket. ticket. <laughs> and everyone brings out their ticket. <laughs> right, now pick Close up Close up, um... I could see the plaster was thinner where oh, I'd broken no, through. And behind it were some cogs and a lever. Um, are we... Sp Meant to fix this with the plaster we have afterwards, or uh... no, no, no. Uh, just go back onto the go back over to the. We don't want to do that just yet. Okay. So just go over to the um, hole in the wall and click on it. It should, it should he should do something else. Here goes. Gonna hurt himself. Hey, cool. Oh. Inside the no. hole. I could see one of the cogs had come loose and jammed the mechanism solid. Ah, I pulled the lever the right over. So now I use the chain? Yep. Nice animation on the chain, I gotta say. Yeah. Oh, George, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I know, he's a numpty, isn't he? He's a bloody vandal. Right, whatever you do, save it first. We should have enough time to get through this next little bit. I don't think we're going to have... How, unless it's like 10 minutes or under, no, we won't. It might be just about that. It would take a blacksmith or an engineer to do anything with that. Yes, the door mechanism was trashed. Inconsiderate. 
you did save it, yeah? Yeah, I saved it. Right, right. Oh, you should have gone downstairs first, so it doesn't matter. Oh. You know, In the beginning was the end. This is quite a long bit of talking. The gl we have they are oh. the, 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 the uh, levier way for you to bring up the, um, the menu of um, itself. If, and press is control and F I think that'll no, but that, exit no, the game entirely. No, no, you, you, no, it brings up like a separate, like a, like a, a menu, but you don't do it. Okay, this okay, is fine. It's funny if nothing else. Alright, now there's a gap. Oh, hang on. Now restore. Oh, yeah, restore, yeah. Now go down and meet the phantom. <laughs> Try going down first. Sing once again with me. I was strange to it. Dun, 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 I, dun. I could hear voices yeah. from the lit area. <laughs> this was it. The conspiracy was revealed. Okay, nobody move. I'm making oh, a citizen's arrest. George. At last, I had them. <laughs> I could see the fear in their eyes as their little scheme came to pieces. Bang. You're all going away for a very long time. And you can just drop those guns. You're impressing nobody. <laughs> I don't know who that is sitting in the hole, but it's amusing. Given how, like, realistic he looks compared to everyone else, I think it's, a, like, a writer or a developer or someone. Probably. Well, it's up to you. We can either do that bit again, or we can leave it till the next one. I think we'll there was get a crack in the wall. Through it, I could see a glimmer of natural light. It's time for the conspiracy to, to at least reveal the conspiracy. Yeah. Well, you'll listen to them talk twice, work something out down the bottom, and then go back to Nico's. In the beginning was the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. I recognize two of these In people. the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies. Heralds are new day! I the guy from the hotel and the. The military the establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now! Good, Mademoiselle. Government are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. What accident? They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing Sounds foolish. like Manuel. The pattern is emerging. Our I learned time this from is a book. now. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. The millennium is almost upon us. 
And everything is in place for the rise of our new order. Almost. Professor, where is the broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <coughs> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These <coughs> are Templars? ...must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the Sword of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pegram. Pegram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Serious! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword, manuscript or no. We have already found another element actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Oh, beautiful. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I fear so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. Not that good. I mean, he failed, didn't he? Um, Should we look again, or... Yeah, we'll look again, then call it. Okay. This is interesting. The plot's actually beginning. This will be our last meeting in person, until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The new millennium will belong to us. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princess of this world! That's all you can say, George? <laughs> That's all? Really? <laughs> I think he's blown away by, by it all. Seems more confused than anything. Wait, can I go down there without being shot? You you can now, yeah. But we, we can leave it till next time if you want to. Yeah, we got some time. And we can also go back to talk to Nico and begin our next adventure <clears throat> next episode. 
Yeah, it won't be. It oh, be George is long. slow. George is so fucking slow. I know, he's so fucking slow. In the middle of the circle was a stump of stone, a shaft of daylight from the world above lancing down to touch it. I noticed three small notches around the edge of the stump's top. Ah, uh, tripod goes there, doesn't it? Yep. There was a large circle marked out on the floor with a stump in the middle. Around the circle, I could see words inlaid into the stone. On the circle's circumference were the Templar seal and two Latin phrases. Non omnis moriar and clarior a tenebris. I shall not die completely, the brighter from the darkness. You clicked on the on the river. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you clicked on the wolf. <laughs> Toss it into the river, George. I think it might, you know, sink to the bottom if you did that. The light falling from above struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays, and each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the seal, I could read. M A R I B Marib Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. Nico, I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knights Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. The bogus doctor was there, the guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. It's the and gear. how does the assassin fit into all this? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. The assassin killed him for the manuscript, to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So, how do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria. But they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod, directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M-A-R-I-B. Marip is a village in Syria. Then the Neo-Templars are ahead of us. Klausner beat me to it. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay, what about the tripod? I'll send it back to Andre, anonymously. Would you like this juggling ball? Have you been drinking, Georges? No, why? Because you're talking crap. <laughs> Do you think I should go to Marib? Sorry, it's a long way, Georges. So if you go and talk to Andre, he'll give you the location of the Spain location. So it means you'll have two options next time we come back. Obviously, not now, but next time. Mm -hmm. um, talking to him won't take that long. But Or we can just go straight to Marib in the next one. It's, it's completely your, up to you. Oh, hi. We need some crucial Hello, information Hello, my handsome first. friend. We need to ask this woman if she wants to. What do you think of my ball? I'm picking up vibrations from it. That ball will travel far. I'm guessing you're going to hit someone That's with the juggling right, ball. That's right, Monsieur. You will. Um, <clears throat> not exactly. Oh no, we. Do I think we drop it and someone trips on it. 
I'm close. Anyway, we'll see that in the future. Until next time, I've been Merrick Tomato. And I've been Classic Gamer. And we get to send George to the Middle East next time. Or Spain. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're going to Marib next time. Um, we got to keep him away from a certain part of of uh, the Middle East because he, George, talking to people would just reignite conflicts. <laughs> we, he he'd re, he'd rekindle a war because of. I think there's I think there's quite a lot of war going on at the moment though. Isn't he he he'd make it worse because he's George. Oh yeah. He has the power to end any ceasefire. If you ever, if you ever want to send someone who can negotiate a ceasefire, do not send George Stovart. No. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Ciao. See you then. Bye bye. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played, edited, and recorded by me, Merrick Demato. And he's been helped by me, Classic Gamer. You can find a link to Classic's YouTube channel, Classic's Gamer, and his Twitch in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.